That looks nice. Yeah, so it turned out great. Right. Nancy likes it. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. And today, what I'm gonna do on this nasty rainy day is uh, put do a project that I've kind of been putting off for a little bit here. I'm going to be building a goat milking stand. Now this stand is gonna serve two purposes for us. It's gonna be for milking goats, and it's also gonna be for shearing sheep. And uh, so I'm gonna make this, uh, I'll put the dimensions as I go here so you can see how to build it. It's gonna be a pretty simple build. Here's the materials that you'll need if you're gonna build something similar. Uh, five two by fours, so these are just eight foot long two by fours. And then I have a half inch piece of plywood. Now my base, or my platform is gonna be two feet by four feet. So you're, if you're gonna build one similar to this, you're gonna want a two by four piece of plywood. And you wanna have a half inch. I got the miter saw, the Admiral miter saw, the cobalt table saw. So let's get cotton, let's get our base made. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, for your initial cuts, you're going to need four, uh, four foot length two by fours. You're gonna need three of them, 20 and, a, 20 and three quarter inches long. So 20 and three quarter inches long. That will be your cross members to go in between. And then you're gonna need two 16 inch two by fours. And this will make all your frame and your legs for the uh, stand. So let's get this all put together so you can see how this works. Okay, so this is our platform it's a two by four piece of plywood this will be the top where they stand on I want the nicest part so this will be the bottom all I'm doing right now is I'm going to use this to set up my uh, two by four frame so we're going to take two four footers we'll set the other one right here for now we're gonna take our cross members here, and these are gonna go just like this, if you can see. And by cutting these 20 and three quarters, if you see when you put your other two by four on, this will make from the outside to the outside two feet. So. And we're just going to have one cross member in the middle. That will be plenty enough to hold a goat or a sheep. So the platform is done now and I have it flipped upside down because we're going to put the legs on. And that's what these 16 inch pieces are. We're going to have it 16 inches off the ground. Technically 16 and a half because they're going to go to the bottom of the plywood. Plywood's a half inch so we're going to be about 16 and a half from the, the actual top to the base. So these are 16 inches. The front legs are going to be a little bit different. Those are your other four footers that I cut. And they're going to be in the front here mounted all the way to the edge and they're going to be you know the, the same length up here but you're going to need this this part uh, on the top because that's where we're going to where they put their heads through where we're going to set up their feeders and everything so they can't back out so let's get these legs on and i'll show you that when we flip it upside down
side here. That looks like a good mark there. Okay, so here is our base, our sand, and it's pretty sturdy. I put these little reinforcements here, and we're also going to put uh, across the top here some reinforcements, so that's also going to keep the top here sturdy as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up about 16 inches, and we're going to put a board across each side. And you're going to see why we do that here in a minute. So let's get our two pieces. This one I have some one by uh, four scrap pieces that I had laying around that are actually painted. And I'm going to use those uh, to put across there. You can use two by fours. I'm just going to use them just because I have them laying around and they'll work better. So let's get those put, back, put on. All right, guys, well, change of plans on this. I ended up going 13 inches from here up to here instead of 16. And uh, I just I just had this feeling it was just a little bit too high, so I went with my gut, because we have smaller uh, goats, so we'll, uh, I think this will work. And the other thing is for the sheep, when I shear them, I'm gonna actually put a, uh, uh, another part on the top here to hold their heads up, because when you, uh, hold sheep up you want their heads pointed up you know their chins up in the air they they stay a lot better than that so I think this will work a lot better for the goats so let's get this other part put on the front here all right so this is the stand I have it tipped up uh, so you can, this is the front here facing up and then I have two four foot pieces of two by four. So this is the fourth two by four I use and I don't think I'm gonna need another one. So you, to make this, you can, it, well, it depends. If you don't have one by four, you'll need another two by four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one of these is gonna be put on the top here all the way up. It's gonna stick above the other one. I don't know if you can see that, but like that. And this is gonna be permanent. We're gonna screw this right down. And then this one here is going to be mounted up here, but it's going to be movable in and out. And that's what, how you, when you put their heads through, you'll close that on their neck and they won't be able to pull back through. So let's get this one mounted on in a permanent position and then we'll get this other one put on. So, I didn't have a long enough bolt, I thought I did, but I had these old lag screws. Yeah, I think these will work. Use the old Bauer Impact. And and I put another couple braces up here. And uh, what I like about it is, I'm glad I went with these one by fours because it, it's tight, but it's not too tight because there's a little more flex in these than there would be a, a two by four. So it's, it moves nice and easy, but not, you know, it doesn't fall or anything, which wouldn't matter anyway. But um, works pretty nice. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna make a little, uh, table here to put food on. Okay, well here is the almost final product. We gotta try to goats on it so we'll put some feed on there and then we'll put a 
I gotta figure out my stop. I don't know if I'm gonna use a bungee cord or a chain or something like that, but we'll get in there. But let's go see how the goats fit on it. He's probably like, don't do it, it's a trap. Good. 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 Yeah. You want some more, huh? Come on, you gotta put your head there. Where's the dish? Put the dish up there. Oh, sorry. mom I think yeah she's more caring she's more gentle and she's like her mom she's mischievous like her mama killed a baby her mom killed they'll get used to it anyway after like shortly after you start milking them they'll, yeah. they'll hop right up here knowing what's coming what do you think perfect height I think mm -hmm. okay she's actually eating it true that looks nice yeah so it turned out great Nancy likes it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, there it is. <laughs> look, at, look at Everett. <laughs> he goes in there. He goes in there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, there? thanks for watching, y'all. God bless.